welcome back. Today we're going to discuss high-rise fires and all the equipment that we need when we go to one. Let's get started. So this is our two and a half bag. It's also referred to as our bag of tricks or our apartment bag. Inside our two and a half bag is going to be everything that we're going to be bringing up for the standpipe guy at a high-rise fire. The first thing when we make our connection to the standpipe is we want to make sure we have our elbow on it. Our elbow is just on a swivel like this, and it allows the hose not to get kinked when it originally comes out of the standpipe. After the elbow, we're going to make sure we put on our inline pressure gauge. It's going to allow us to make sure we're operating at the correct pressure of the fire floor. After that, we're going to put our gate valve on. Our gate valve is just our secondary wheel in case there is a malfunction with the standpipe system. It still allows the control of the flow of water. Also, we're gonna have a pipe wrench, a spanner wrench. We have a carabiner with some webbing. If you have to tie off a two and a half to something above, you can do it with this. And we're also gonna have additional nozzles. We have an extra seven eighths smooth bore tip, and we also have a combination nozzle for ventilation on the fire floor during the overall process. Inside each pocket in the bag, we also have some door chocks, and that's just to chock the doors when we're flaking hose to the apartment. So we pulled our apartment pack off the truck. We're making our way to the fire floor. We're always remembering that we're going one floor below the fire floor. Once we get there, we're gonna have to flake out our hose line. So I'm gonna quickly show you how we're gonna do that. Always remember that we're leaving our straps on until we start the flake. We wanna to try to maintain the integrity of the pack. That way it's not fall, falling all over the place when we're making our way up to the fire floor. So we have these packed. So all you have to do is undo your Velcro. We're going to flip our nozzle section and our coupling section up and out that way. And we have a loop in here. We're going to take this loop and all we're going to do is walk this out this way. After that's flaked out, we have 75 feet of hose all in line like this. And once this is charged, there's going to be no kinks and it's going to be ready to rock and roll. So now that the nozzle section is flaked out, the backup guy is going to connect his male to the female section of the nozzle section and flake the apartment pack out the exact same way as we did with the nozzle section. After that's done, we're going to take our reducer end and we're going to take this down to our standpipe guy. Our standpipe guy is going to make the connection. And as soon as this is ready to go, he can go back to the FDC connection in the stairwell and he can turn the gate valve and send water to the nozzle. When we go to pack the apartment pack, we're first going to start off by taking our two couplings and matching them up. So for consistency purposes, we always keep our male section on the right hand side if you're looking at the hose this way. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the end of the loop and we're going to bring it all the way to the nozzle section. So Mike's going to take his end, he's going to walk it all the way down to the nozzle section. That's going to sit on top there, and all we're going to do is stack our hose back on top of each other, just like this. Once that's done, Eddie's got to kind of pull tight, Anthony's going to hold on, and we're going to do the exact same thing again. So we're going to take our end, and we're going to bring it to our nozzle section. And once more, we're going to flip it. At this point, we're going to get our hose straps and we're going to strap it in. Make sure that when you have the strap that's closer to the coupling section, it's as close to the end of the couplings or nozzle as possible. That way when you pull it off the truck, the couplings and nozzle aren't flopping all over the place. For high rise fires, we operate with a four main engine company. We stick to the traditional riding assignments, driver, officer, nozzleman, backup man. So we're gonna show how the crew gets off and carries the equipment. Our crew's gonna hop off the truck, Our nozzle is going to go right 
right for the mouth a second. Once he's off, the backup man will help him get the second section on the shoulder. The nozzle man's off. The backup man will grab the backup section and the bag of tricks. And I want everybody to notice how they're carrying it. They have the hose on their shoulder with their arm above them. This is the proper way to carry this. So that man's gone, good and gone. And our officer's gonna come around. And our officer's gonna be responsible for our forcible entry stuff. Irons, forcible entry bag, and tick. So that's what our crew should look like as they're going to a high rise fire. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe. If there's any questions, you can always ask an officer.